hello everyone welcome to another exciting one today we are going to learn how you can render your scene with transparent background in shadows so let's go as you can see i have a simple scene here a backdrop my model and then two lights in the scene i also have an hdri at the background which is giving our scene a little bit of light so to render our our model so we want to render this model with transparent background without a backdrop and the hdri so to do that first what we have to do is everything we don't want to show inside our final render we have to hide so first we will hide our backdrop for a second so i'll select the backdrop and i'll come into the pan this panel and i will take hide in viewport first and then i'll disable in my render settings so now if we try to render our backdrop is not going to show but then our hdri will, will, will show inside our final render so to test that let me do a quick render so if i go to render image and render you will see that my hdri comes along with my render which is something we don't want so to hide the hdri so that we can render as pure transparent all we have to do is we have to go to the render settings then we scroll down till we find film here and then we tick the transparent checkbox like this you see as soon as i tick the transparent checkbox the hdri is missing but then it's still affecting our scene with its light so to do a, a quick test let me just increase the color the strength of my hdri so that you can see how the hdri is still affecting our scene so now if i do it a render it's going to render but then without my hdri and then without the shadow so i'll show you how we can quickly render with the shadow in a second so let me do a test render and we will import it inside photoshop to see whether it works so to do a test render we have to go to render and then we do render image my final image is rendered so to save this image as a transparent png we have to go to image and then we go to save us so save us and we will find where we want to save our image so in my case i'm going to save it inside this folder so one important thing you have to get in mind is the file format make sure it's set to png and the color here is set to rgba so so that you'll be able to get your transparent so i'll quickly name it and then i'll save so my image is saved so this is my final render as you can see transparent let's quickly drag and drop it inside photoshop so as you can see here our final render is actually transparent so it works so i'm taking the rectangle to and i'll draw a background yeah so our, our transparency actually works so we can change the color to a bit anything we want here and we have a transparent background so i'm back in blender and what if we want to do a render but then want to keep the shadows that are, are being cast by our shape our our model so to do that is very simple let's quickly bring our backdrop so i'll go to my plane and make sure i turn i turn it on in the viewport and then i enable it in the render by taking this next checkbox so now you can see we have our shadows here if i want to render our model we don't want the background but i want to keep the shadows so to do that we just have to select our backdrop our background and then we go to object data properties we scroll down till we find visibility and then we take you go to we go to the mask we take the shadow catcher box here so as you can see the the backdrop is now transparent but then we still have the shadows the shadows are maintained so let's do a quick render and see the results we come up with so i'll go to render i'll do render image now our final image is rendered so let's quickly save it and open inside photoshop to see whether our shadow comes 
along with our final model so to do that we go to save us and I'll, I'll just hit this plus button to give it a unique name we'll make sure our file format is set to png and it's set to rgba so i'll do save us now it is saved let me open up photoshop and let me open our second rendered image so let's do a drag and drop inside photoshop so let me hide the first one so as you can see our final image was rendered with the shadow so let me change the background here so you can see we have our final image and then we have a sh our shadow our nice shadow here in the background so this is a very good way of rendering your scene if you want to add some extra elements into your designs your graphic designs yeah so this is my friend thank you very much for watching if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe and leave a like button see you on the next one peace out